trout. If we got one, two are coming up on the beach right now. Ferry here. There's just a few little things that make life a little simpler, especially when you're spending the night on Padre Island National Seashore where things can get, uh, you're committed, let's just say. When you go down there, you're all in. First thing, I wear regular shorts and under my shorts, I wear swim trunks. I have my keys and wallet, Leatherman tool. When I get to the beach, I take my shorts off with all of my stuff. I put them in a bucket or something inside the cab to keep everything dry. I've bailed out of the truck when I was younger in my shorts and just ran right in the surf with everything. And salt water's pretty hard on electronics like electric keys now and stuff. Second, you need to wire a key under your frame. Don't lock your car. Leave the door windows open, which is always a possibility. Do something to prevent locking yourself out of the car at the 45. It's inconvenient to have to bash out your window and drive home. And the wife asks weird questions why you're stupid. And we say, because we're dudes, dude. You can see the surf conditions are just off the charts. Trout green, it's been good. North wind started blowing this morning for about 12 hours, a little bit of rain, and it's just been off the hook. Caught him on top water earlier, but Meridian's working. Let's go back. Okay, like that, just slide him all the way to the sand. Just walk him in. That's a good one, Ryder. <laughs> nice! Don't step on him, just grab him. Right behind the gill plates. Right here. No. Grab him right. On the ground. Pin him. And grab him right under here. The gill plates right here. Pick him up like that. Okay? All the hooks are in him. You want this bait to stay real high, right on top of the water. I'll put him in the box and go fishing. I carry a used lure box. This one's broken, it's got holes in it and stuff, but it still works fine. And as I'm working through the surf, these are all the lures I used over the last couple of days. I throw them in this box. I don't throw them back in my box and clean and wash every lure in my box. When I get home, I open it up, I literally fill the box full of water, shut the lid and let it drain out. And I do that three times. And then at night, I open it and leave it open. When I'm done fishing, I take the, all the lures in the box and I roll them over onto a paper towel in my garage and let everything completely dry. And the box. That's a little tip to keep your lures in good shape because it, like, it's not the first or second trip you make mistakes, it's the fifth trip and it gets crazy or the jacks are close or something and all your gear just breaks. It, it sucks, it, it, it's punishing. Of course, because it's fishing, this is the only Meridian I have. We lost one yesterday to a kingfish, but at least I have one. <laughs> Branch Ferry out. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. 18. Somewhere in there. You. Friction fighter. There's always the guy who walks up to you on the beat and he has got the raging red ass. There's no other way to explain it. It's just nah, in the nether regions. You take this stuff, get dry, and before you go to the beach, you apply it to the <laughs> around the nuts, man. <laughs> it's incredible. I can't believe it actually. If you get the Raging Red Ass, I don't have this product, you get some Gold Bond powder or cornstarch, but you gotta be done. You can't put it on down the beach. It'll just wash off and get more abrasive, which is no fun. There he is. Number 10. Woohoo, surfing. Saw him hit it. 
That is off the hook. It's like freaking madness out here. Sunscreen. That is the best stuff on the planet. Bullfrog Surf Gel, or Surf Formula. Bullfrog, in general, is the most waterproof sunscreen I've ever used, but that Surf Formula is goo. It's kind of gross to put on. I mean, it's really thick, but it will save your bacon. See the waves again? There's one, two, three, four. And it's gonna give me, there's a fifth one back there, and then it's gonna give me a shot. This is, this is about as shallow as I can get. If I go further, it gets deep, and the waves beat the hell out of you. You wait a second, there's your opening. Throw that opening right there. See how I got, see how I got flat? Then you can fish. You just gotta be patient and let the surf do its thing. Oh. Vinyl carpet runners on your seats. I see a lot of people who hadn't figured this out yet. This is a vinyl carpet runner from Walmart. I got them on all my seats to keep the water out. I got a t-shirt covering that particular one. You can see it's in the seat there. There's one on that one. I put the t-shirts over the over the bucket seats it just makes it a little more comfortable. They're about $4, but they will save your seats. A lot of people just cover them with towels and it soaks through and you have wet seats for four days and you think that's normal. It doesn't have to be that way, okay? Fine. There we go. example of trying to land him in the water I was just gonna grab him and pick him up and throw him back just walk back to the truck or just slide him up on the beach and just throw him up on the beach and pick him up later but don't try to land him in the water oh well, you can but that's what's gonna happen they have real soft mouths and you can't play them too hard in the in the surf or even in the bay and always have your gear rigged ready to go I cut all my lures off yesterday. I cannot emphasize this enough. Put on what you think is going to work or what somebody's told you is working and get it ready. The surf does not give you many shots. When you get your shot, you've got to be ready. You can't be tying lures and playing with your tackle box. They show the fish show, they get crazy for half an hour, and it's over. Here's some more fishing action. better when I think. You see him in the waves. Oh, he came off. Ah, uh, grass fish. Okay, so. A little coaching tip for lures. The current, the current's going that way. If you throw your lures up current and bring them with the current, you tend to hook less grass. If you throw and pull it into the current, you're gonna pull it into the grass, which is traveling that way. So the grass is going that way, and your lure's coming this way, and you tend to hook more grass. If you'll fish with the grass, you can usually get away with it. So I'm going through my box of used stuff this morning and playing with it. And the crow, this this particular skitter walk is quite the lure. I've caught a bunch of big trout on it, and I caught a really good one yesterday. Big trout are different; they really are strong. And I just happened to look, and the split ring is totally jacked. So I'm gonna have to replace that thing. 
like I said, you got to pay attention to your gear. You got to stay on top of it. Keep it clean. Obviously down the beach, you can't do that. But when you're in town and you're at home for two months at a time and haven't been fishing, go through your tackle a few times the week before the trip to get ready. If I don't change that split ring, I'm going to lose something. You, I guarantee you I'll, I'll have a freaking eight pound trout eat it because he knows the split ring's broken. You know that's a fact. <laughs> they know and they hate us. So I got to change that split ring out. So it's another reason to go through your tackle. Just have a used box. You know what's used. And then you can check it as you, as you put it back in your tackle box. Branch Ferry out. All right, buddy. Buddy's on. Oh, huge skipjack. We're good. That's a huge skipjack, I think. Don't reel so much. Just hold. Just hold. Just hold. Just hold. Just reel. Walk back. Don't reel. Just walk back. Back at the truck real quick. It's madness out there. I'm going to retie my line. I'm not fishing a leader. And I'm fishing 12 pound mono straight. I prefer not to fish braid for trout because they're soft mouthed and you break a lot of fish off and rip them out within 10 or 15 feet. Obviously, I'm shaking them off today because I've already caught my limit. But if I was fishing for serious, I'd want to catch them. You might want to get you one of those sexy little things. Ranch Ferry with his fancy hat out. Final tip all ice chests should be facing out okay towards the outside of the truck it's just easier to work don't climb in and out of your truck the whole time if you don't have to the less sand you can get in your vehicle the better the less sand you can get on your bumper the better me and Georgia applying the Sun in in the special hat give me the Sun in there oh yeah oh, oh yeah. yeah whip it up I got sun in and a hat with a hole in it and a crap load of lures. We've got 50 trout if we got one and two are coming up on the beach right now. They're getting bigger. Look at them fighting over it. Hey, get him up on the sand. Don't worry about going to the truck. That's a big trout. Just go, go to the beach. Get him up. That's the way you get him. He's done now. You got him. Look at that pig. How big is that? A 22 inch trout. 20. Oh man. I'm already done. Woo! It's a nice one. Buddy! Okay, that's a nose hook DOA. Not a lot of people do this. Okay, there's a big trout. A lot of people, I don't see a lot of people do this, but it saves the baits. Just nose hook them like that. And you get really good hookups. That's enough line right there. Take him. Uh, Just some big damn trout out there. Woo, that's a good one. You start walking. Buddy! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Woo Just walk him up, leave him right there, Caleb. And let him have the reel. If he wants to take it, let him have drag. Buddy's yeah. got a Woo! Oh, Sam's got one! It's on! Oh, this is live. Slide him up. That's a good trout. Woo! Slide him up. Beautiful. Okay, when you're walking him up, you want him like this far away, okay? And just walk him up. Slide him right up on the sand. That'll keep. Good job, buddy! At the beach today, of course, being the beach, it's a window. Yesterday it was beautiful. Caught a bunch of fish, 60 trout. Today is blown out, big. It's just the way it works. One tip. 
And for all you people who don't pick up trash or leave your trash on the beach, always have a trash bag bucket in your truck. And for all you people who leave camps and tents and pop-ups and those slide up framed things with the covers and your bags full of beer cans that you that you bagged up and left on the beach, you're stupid. There's no cause for that. Stop going to the beach because you don't belong there. There's no no excuses. Put your trash in your truck. That's that. And if you don't participate in the beach cleanup in March with the friends of Padre, you might consider it. Especially for you people who leave trash on the beach. Go clean up your freaking mess. Ranch Ferry out.